short and sweet video talking about setting in sleeves mainly focused on knit sleeves on the round on the flat what you like the best maybe some polarizing opinions might appear i know i have my opinion stay tuned hi sewing friends i'm karina from liftingpinsandneedles.com welcome to this channel that is all about sewing limitless sewing and today is about sewing sleeves i've recently made a video focused on sewing woven sleeves and I've shown different ways to do it, the ways I think get you a better result and is just easier in general. I want to touch on a topic that I get lots of questions about because I mention my opinion here and there, sprinkled in every little video. I do always mention that I like to sew my sleeves in on the round rather than sewing them on the flat. I do have reasons for that. I do have opinions about that. It's not just because it's not just because one day I woke up and said, you know, this is the way I like to do it. Usually when we have a time under our belt sewing, you know, we start making decisions and we start finding that there are ways that we prefer to do things better than other ways and most of the time with these decisions is not things that people can tell when they look at your me-made garment if I walk around in this dress you're not gonna know if I set this sleeve in on the round or on the flat you're not gonna know at all it still looks nice I set this one on the round the difference is mainly around this area the way that I feel it and the way I feel is more comfortable so I think 90% of people that sew would say that sewing sleeves on the flat is easier and this might translate into woven and knit garments when you look at a man's shirt if you look at it inside you mainly see flat filled seams and that the seam goes all the way from here crosses this intersection here and then goes all the way down the side seam and I know it very well I've done so many refashions with men's shirts I'm really accustomed to unpicking them and seeing how things are made inside I can see how this would be faster to sew in an industry setting and how different it is to women's clothes you know the way that these garments are intended to fit you know these sleeves for men are really flat there's a lot of ease right here the sleeves don't fit right under the arm and you know men can do a lot of things in their shirts so I wouldn't say that just because men's shirts have the flat filled seam is that you know something that we need to aspire to have in our own clothes you know in the type of blouses that we sew when you are sewing a lot of different patterns sewing patterns could be commercial indie you will start seeing that every designer makes their own decisions in how they prefer to present their instructions what techniques they like best sometimes some techniques are easier to illustrate than others Sometimes graphics are easier made showing one technique over the other. I'm not sure if that is the reason why sometimes you see it done one way or done the other way. I think just as a designer has the ability to make up their mind and choose the way they want to present the pattern to you, I think you also, of course, have the same ability to make the choice on how you prefer to sew a garment or not. Sometimes industry standards tend to creep into home sewing sometimes and there are techniques that are more efficient whatever in industry sewing but that don't really translate well to the best best comfortable feeling on the body when you have the garment on and that is the case for sleeves sewn on the flat for me about the pros of sewing the seam on the flat is that it might be faster it might be considered easier although i don't really think it's the case i think that setting a sleeve in on the round can be just as easy and actually if you have a detail on the end of your sleeve like a cuff or it's a big gathered sleeve into a cuff or any detail here it's much easier to do when the sleeve is on its own and you can just construct your whole sleeve and then put it on the round here you know you don't have to worry about doing that detail on the sleeve after as you would have to do it if you had set your sleeve in on the flat you know you'd have the whole garment already sewn raw edges here and then you would be working on these details so easier maybe I, I, I don't think it's that much easier maybe faster maybe in an industrial setting if you've got stacks of garments to sew and all you have to do is go vroom and so you know side seam and seam in all one go it might be faster but it's usually not the way that we sew at home we're just usually sewing one project at a time we have the time and the means to just take it nice and slowly and enjoy the process of crafting a garment that is really really comfortable to wear also not just faster the thing for me is when you have a seam that involves all this area and it's just one seam when this bends it's really bulky 
all the seam allowances are going in the same way and I can feel it. I can feel it and it's so uncomfortable. You wouldn't believe it. It's just so uncomfortable. The other thing is that when your whole sleeve and your side seam are just one seam, just one whole seam, when you lift your arms and you move, your whole side seam, your whole garment will move with you when you stretch your arms out forward, anything. You know, you're gonna move, the whole garment is gonna move with you. And if you look at men's shirts, they tuck them into their pants, they do anything, and their shirts are coming out of their pants. Just the whole garment is moving because it's just one seam. But when you have it on the round, it's dominant. So it's just the one seam, and you can pretty much move independently without it moving the whole side seam. So those are two really important reasons that I like to sew them in on the round. But let me tell you, I will make an exception. <laughs> maybe one out of 50 projects i might sew it on the flat and let me tell you what that is definitely it will be a knit sleeve it will never be a woven sleeve i'll never sew a woven sleeve on the flat that's, that's just a no-go no matter if it's chiffon or rayon or anything i just won't do it but i'll consider it with a knit a lightweight knit like an ity a rayon spandex something that's just really lightweight where i know the bulk here won't be too uncomfortable that is one thing the other thing it will be just a regular sleeve with a regular hem it won't have any detail here those are scenarios where i might consider sewing them on the flat but i really don't see why because i don't find it easier or faster but i thought i'd show you how i like to do it this is a channel that aims to show you a lot of sewing techniques and i try to put myself in everyone's shoes here maybe some of you have never sewn a neat garment before so i would like to have an array of techniques for you so you can pick and choose what you prefer so let's just quickly see how to sew a sleeve in on the flat Shoulder seams have been sewn. This is the back bodice, that is the front bodice. I will bend my personal preferences for a really lightweight fabric like this one. So here we have a double notch, here we have a single notch. We find the same on the sleeve and we align the notch that matches the neckline, the single notch here, the double notch there and we pin and then we just sew like that. Okay, there's the sleeve pinned onto the open armhole. A neat sleeve that's well made should have the same length. So you wouldn't need to be stretching out the sleeve or stretching out the armhole to make them fit together. Everything should be one-on-one. -on -one. Unless the sleeve has design features like gathers, then you have a bigger sleeve than armhole, but then that's intended. I'm talking about the regular fitted sleeve on a knit garment. So this is this fit perfectly, matching the notches there, matching the center point, and then it's just one continuous seam here. When you sew your sleeves like that, the garment looks really strange. It's all fully extended bodice pieces right there and the sleeves. Sewing this super easy. Let's go ahead. Because this pattern has a quarter inch seam allowance, I'm not trimming anything away as I search, but it could be different with the pattern that you're making. It could be 3 8 what you're using for seam allowance. So just be careful with that. It is super easy to sew sleeves in this way. And I do prefer sewing these on the round. This is an exception. This fabric is stretchy and it's very lightweight. I know I'm not gonna be uncomfortable with the bulk that you get under the arm here. Okay, the sleeves have been sewn. Here here we have the bodice going this way now. This is the front, that's the back. Here are the sleeves on the side. All you need to do now is take them from the shoulder seams and put everything right sides together like that. And you see now that we will need to do a long seam that's going to catch all the sleeve, including the side seam there, both sides. About these seams here, I like them to go towards the sleeve this way. So the way that it's easier to sew it is if you just start from the side seam down here, match this up, make sure this intersection matches. Seam allowances are going towards the sleeve and then you finish off at the hem of the sleeve. Other people like to sew it the other way from the sleeve up to the hem. So because I want my seam allowance to go towards the sleeve, I'm going to sew it this way because it's just easier to go over the bulk. Okay, here's the bodice all pinned. I'm sewing from the hem of the bodice and then going down the seam of the sleeve. That's the way I prefer to do it. Now if you're doing a t-shirt or a top that has a regular neckband or binding, you could do that first of course. I've decided not to do that with this bodice because this has a smaller turtleneck type collar that would prevent me from laying the garment out on the flat really nicely and, and able to film it properly for you. In theory, you could already have the neckline done at this stage also. I've just left it for the end. These are where the seams are. I've got a pin there, 
to make sure they match, but I will remove it as the press foot goes over it. I'm sewing the long seam of the sleeve and this is a regular sleeve that would just be hemmed by folding it up and top stitching. There's no cuff, nothing special here. But imagine your sleeve was a bishop sleeve or had a cuff or anything. You can do it at this stage of course, but it just means you have the whole garment hanging and getting in the way of you doing that technique. But for this one, it's no issue. That's why I decided that this was a good candidate for sewing it on the flat. This is the area where I find it uncomfortable on the underarm because it's really bulky. It's all in one seam. It folds onto each other there. All the seam allowance is going to the same side there. And so this is one of the main reasons also that I like to set my sleeves in on the round. Although for this fabric, because it's so lightweight, it's not going to bother me that much. These seams match here. Maybe they're off by like a sixteenth of an inch, but they're okay, acceptable. This is the bottom of the sleeve. I've just basted it up. <clears throat> now, even if I remove this from my sewing machine, this is still too small to get in there. I don't want to force it in there because it'll just stretch out the hem. It'll look terrible. So if you try to sew your hem like this, it'll be super awkward. You're going to start getting things under there. In this case, the easiest way to sew a narrow hem like this is to have the right side of the fabric inside. And then you just put it in like this. And it's so much easier. You just go moving the fabric around. And this is how you would sew a child's hem, for example. So it's done super fast and easy. It's the easiest way I find when it's a little narrow hem at the bottom. It's a fitted sleeve, so the fit here at the bottom is going to be nice and snug. It's not tight, but there's no way you could stretch this out to fit there. So I mentioned that this sleeve that I was sewing here was a good candidate because the knit was very lightweight. I thought it was going to be perfect. The garment you saw me sew there, you'll see it soon on the channel. I've had it on already, no problem, it's perfect no drama with setting the sleeve in on the flat there but what if you're working with a really bulky fleece or a really bulky sweater knit some french terry cotton lycra ponty there are patterns designed to be made with those types of fabrics that are like jackets or cardigans or something like that and you might see the instructions tell you to set a sleeve in on the flat in that case i would never ever 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 set my sleeve in on the flat if it's those really really bulky fabrics and because this is so bulky it's so uncomfortable i just can't tolerate it i just i just cannot <laughs> so you've seen me sew sleeves on the round a billion times i'm just going to insert a really small clip maybe like a minute long so you can see that in case you haven't seen what the difference is it's just that you sew the seam of the sleeve first and then all this on the round it's two separate seams not just one whole seam like you saw me doing it first so let's see that You've been down like so the seam of the sleeves you just put the sleeve right sides together i have searched these edges separately already i will also be pressing this one open just to avoid the bulk and this just means that the sleeves are separate from the side seam. It's just a technique I prefer, especially with neat fabrics that are thicker and more structured. I think it's more comfortable in the underarm area and less bulky. This does not mean that sewing this is harder than usual. It's just got another little seam. Once you've finished sewing these seams from the sleeves, you can turn them right sides out and put them inside the armhole. That means that you have right sides of the fabric together. You match the single notch. That is the front part of the sleeve with the single notch on the front armhole and the double notch on the back and you go ahead and sew this on the round this means that you have an independent seam on the round for the sleeve the theory behind this is that it becomes a dominant seam and that you have ease of motion for your arms independent from the side seams when you stretch your arms you lift your arms it won't drag along the side seam with it like it does when the whole sleeve and the side seam is just one continuous seam like it happens when you sew sleeves on the flat but this is personal preference i know putting sleeves on the flat is very very common practice for neat fabrics but i opt to put mine on the round because i like 
how it feels it's more comfortable and it does not make sewing the garment any harder in my opinion i really hope that over time you are confident and happy to make your own decisions when you sew no matter what instructions in patterns say you can decide to follow them to a t and if that makes you happy go for it you know we all have different preferences but if there's a little twinge of something in your heart saying i don't like this i don't enjoy this just feel free to change things you know both ways are valid round or flat they are valid techniques you know it's not that one's wrong and one's right you know both have pros and cons and i've made my choice i know how i like to do it and i'm gonna keep doing it like that because i just like the results of setting them on the round but you make your choice i'm just trying to show you my ideas and my opinions you know this is my channel so this is the place to share my opinions of course if you see other people talking about sleeves they'll they might tell you something different because that's their opinion it's good to hear different types of opinions and over time you will form your own and you'll be happy with what you're sewing and the way that you're sewing it because it's something that you've decided something that you like so short and sweet i'll see you again with some neat dresses you saw already the fabric of one of them so yeah happy sewing and i'll see you soon bye